Where's that other one? Fly, use the binocular. I'm detecting something near your location. Oh my god, that leak. Just gotta relax it's a little bit, turtle. Fly, turn around. You're going the wrong direction. Oh my god, Fly, Bentley. Something close by. Use your binocular. I swear. Fly, turn around. You're going the wrong direction. Oh dear. Okay, fine, whatever. Make him be quiet. Heat imprint? This looks like a peaceful spot. Wow, Ben Salim uses this place for meditating. Ah. Question is, how does one get in there? Get up there, that is. Must be away from the other side. I got another bottle here too. That's handy. I think I can make it up here. Before those guys get me. Oh, I can so do this. Yeah. Excellent. Works on a shorter pole, but any longer of a pole would not have been copacetic. Let's head towards the next arrow. I don't even know where this is going. Alright, let's hope this is correct. Oh boy. <laughs> Go! good. We are good, I think. Got it. That was kind of a risky move, but we got there. Cookie jar! No, you ain't. So many dudes everywhere. Hit him! There you go. Whoa! Why use the Monocu Cup? I'm detecting something near your location. Huh? 
Where are you footprints going? Cloth fiber? Interesting. Looks like Salib recently took his camel for a test drive. Always request a test drive. Even if it's only a camel. Bentley, whatever, man. Got a crazy check after me. Not in a good way. Quick, fly the binocu cup. There's something nearby. Man. Come on. Bye. There you are. Did he pee in this? Oh! Jesus. I was about to say, did he pee in that bush? <laughs> Up. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, yes. I went about it the wrong, yeah, more difficult way. Okay. <laughs> Quick, slide the binocu cup. There's something nearby. It's this bush. Mustachio. Well, Salim's obviously not neglecting his grooming. Okay, Sly, I'm collating all the data, and it appears Salim is on a boat? I told you that boat would come back. He's on a boat. Oh no. The game's afoot. Oh no. The guy's a long tongue. Long run, but we got this. Oh, run! Don't get hit! Don't get hit! Don't get hit! Don't get hit! Yes! Scimitar. Oh, I forgot that I bought this the dash thing.
that I have no idea how this is gonna work. Yeah, let's go get Sareem, then maybe things will fall into place for me. Greetings. You're Salim al Kapar, aren't you? And who are you? Uh, well, that part's kind of complicated. I'm a thief like you, but I'm kind of new in town. How about you come back to my gang's hideout and I can explain myself? How about you go nick a camel's hump? <laughs> okay. Look, I know you're in trouble. I'm here to help. I can explain everything, but let's go where we can talk safely. Besides, you look hungry. How would you like some food? Food? <laughs> it was foolish of you not to mention that in the first place. Let's go. Jesus, he moves quick. Maybe I can climb up those poles that I can't reach quickly. That'd be useful. Back at the hideout, introductions went quickly as Salim stuffed his face. He told us about his problem. Some new player calling herself Miss Decibel had rolled into town and started throwing lots of money around. It didn't take a genius to figure out who the time-traveling lieutenant was here. Salim and the three remaining thieves had decided to pull one last heist before disappearing into retirement. Miss Decibel being the target. Of course, with her technology, she had easily captured his thief brothers, and Salim had been trying to come up with a plan to free them ever since. Bentley uncovered some interesting background information. Miss Decibel had come from a wealthy British family. Her true love was classical music, But I didn't love her. <laughs> Unfortunately, her complete lack of musical talent, coupled with an extreme temper, made for a volatile combination. After suffering a freak accident during a tantrum, she was left unable to play music. Normally. However, when she discovered she could control people with her hypnotic tones, a new criminal was born. She began using her devious talents to control others, forcing them to commit crimes for her. We told Salim about the paradox, and the whole thing made some strange kind of sense to him. The bad news was that he wasn't completely convinced that we were there to help him. I could see I was going to have to prove myself. Again. All right, Sly, you are up. You gotta get that power or a costume or something to help us climb those poles quickly. <laughs> 